another video starting off in the house today only on plus youtube channel and in today's video i want to go over build plans and build updates for more specifically the 997 porsche so i've had the car for about two three weeks now and driving it uh enjoying it and it's, it's been good bought the car with 99,000 miles on it i just of course hit over 100,000 miles on it and like i said it's been good but there is some some things that i have to address which i will be doing so and i uh, get it all in the camera and uh, so yes yeah, so i wanted to go over and just give you guys my experience so far with uh buying a i guess you could say a high mileage 997.1 and you know what what that all entails and what i'm going to be doing with it in garden like priority wise but uh so I took off the ppf you know did all of that fun stuff, put the radio in there. And now pretty much what I'll be transitioning to is maintenance and just refreshing the car. So first thing is gonna be the suspension. The car does need control arms. So I'm gonna be replacing all of the control arms and tie rod ends and tie rods and all that stuff. So that's gonna be a big, big task. And then with that, I will also be replacing the suspension components so the i'm gonna go ahead and do my coilovers during that process so what i plan on doing i'm gonna do bc coilovers but i don't think i want to go that route because i want to retain my pasm so i'm gonna go ahead and do the bilstein coilovers so they are a little bit more expensive but i just think overall long term and where i want this car to sit uh, when it's done i just think that's going to be the best route to go so i'm going to do that and then I'm going to replace the brakes, the rotors and the pads, the rotors that they have on the car. They have some rust on them. I don't think the, the previous owner, when they replaced the rotors, they use, they, they pit the rotors that have the anti-rust. So like you live in certain climates, you have to get certain type of rotors that don't uh, rust. Uh, so I don't think they went that route. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace those because I got wheels coming and I don't want to have a nice set of wheels and then you look through them and then if you see rust on the rotor. So it's gonna completely change out all of it just so I know that it's clean slate as far as brakes and uh, go that route. So all of that's gonna be done pretty much probably at the same time or during the same time. Of course, I will bring you guys in on that and you show you that process as it, as it unfolds. I gotta get, so this is an issue. This is kind of stupid shit that I deal with, but so I got quick jacks, right? I got the, for the, for the G80, of course, you guys saw, I use those often. When I was buying quick jacks, I had bought 5,000 TLs or whatever, because I was like, oh, shit, fit. But the, my wheelbase for the G80 was so, that's a big car, the wheelbase is so long, as she said, that it doesn't fit. So I ended up returning them and getting the 6,000 TLX, whatever those are, so it's longer, more weight. But now those don't fit neither one of the Porsches, I don't think. So I'm like, oh my gosh, so I gotta buy another set of quick jacks. Oh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just have to do it because I know I'm gonna work on this car religiously. So it just lock it up as an investment and take up more space and I just have to do it. So I gotta do that first because I need my quick jacks. It makes life so much easier. I swear by those things. And uh, so that's gonna be a thing. What else? Build updates. I'm gonna do some interior bits. Uh, I'm going to just kind of, matter of fact, let's go check out the car. All right, so here we are cars in here, the G80 in here. So interior wise, what I want to do, it's cleaned up, it's about as good as it's gonna get. Pretty decent, but I want to get this replaced, the center console, it's all scratched up. I'm gonna do a numeric short shifter here with a weighted shift knob and give that a little bit more engagement, probably switch out the steering wheel. So I'll be working with uh, Zone Tuning, I believe, they're out in Connecticut. They do a lot of interior bits. I want to do something with this, so I might 
take it to an upholstery shop, have this unwrapped. I want to bring more, so the, the headline is Alcantara. So I want to bring more Alcantara to the uh, interior. So I might do this in Alcantara, just kind of, and then I'm gonna do the steering wheel probably in Alcantara, because I like the feel, motorsport feel of Alcantara steering wheel. And probably, I was gonna do Recaro sports seats. They've gone out of business. They just go on their product bankruptcy, by the way. But uh, these are sports seats, and these are actually very comfortable. Side bolster is pretty awesome, so I'll probably leave these in. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. And then I'll probably do a roll cage as well. Paint match to the exterior of the car. And um, yeah, and then after that, going to keep going. I was gonna replace the tail lights. I might leave them, I don't know. But I am gonna do the headlights. The headlights are shit. I wanna do the headlights, gotta do new fog lights, side markers. So that's all gonna get replaced. I am gonna get the front end. I'm gonna get the car refreshed, essentially. So majority of the car will be repainted. And then like back end, we'll just kind of be refreshed and let the body shop do what they do. We have a really good body shop here that works on a lot of Porsches and he's very familiar. So I got my quote and I'm just like, all right, so I'm just gonna have to do it. Cause again, this isn't a car. I guess let me explain it. So I don't, I'm not building cars for YouTube. <laughs> I'm building cars because this is what I like. This is a car that I've always wanted. This is a car that I, honestly think will outlast the G80 and so I'm not like you're not gonna this channel I'm not gonna just be buying cars just for the sake of buying cars I'm actually probably just gonna thin out a lot well, I'm not gonna thin out I'm getting rid of maybe one car but I don't know yet but either way I'm building this car because this is what I want this is what I like this is my dream I want to experience life with these cars, me and my girl, we like to do this. So I'm building it in a way that it's gonna add value to my life, not because I wanna resell it or whatever, or if I wanna get another car for YouTube and all this other shit. That's not what I'm doing. So yes, I'm gonna repaint it and I'm gonna spend a lot of money on certain things and stuff like that. But it's because I wanna get another 150,000 miles out of it. I wanna drive it. I want it to be that type of car. So. That's my intent, that's where I, where I am with this, and that's kind of how I am with all of my cars. So back to what I was saying, so it's gonna get repainted, that's gonna be cool. And then what I'm gonna be doing next is just saving up, saving up, saving up, because I am gonna have to replace or rebuild the motor at some point in time. That's just inevitable with this car, but what I will do as a 3.8 liter the Carrera S, but I'm going to build it up to either 4.0 or 4.1 and just do the works. Just really get it amazing, high performing motor. So that's going to be the last, hopefully the last thing. Hopefully everything drives good and lasts long and I'm able to enjoy it for a bit. And then I can proactively do the motor on this car as opposed to reactively because that's going to be 20, it's like 20K, if not more. So that's that. Build update. So I guess with a G80, I don't really have much to do. I'm just gonna enjoy it. I gotta get the, the whining noise when I drive. I think it's the idle pulley. I heard that's a common thing for this car. So I gotta get that replaced. That's gonna be some minor. Hopefully dealership do it. Uh, get that replaced. I'm going to do some more suspension work. SPL overhaul, so control arms and all that adjustable stuff. I want to do that with this car and that's pretty much it, honestly. I like the way it sits, love the wheels, love the stance, love the performance, love the sound, interior. I'll put in the steering wheel in there. I think you guys might, I don't know if I'll do that video before I do this video, but I got in the steering wheel, so that's going to be cool and different, I mean, different feel. And that's that. Then moving on to the 992. I'm pretty solid on this car. Me and my girl talked about it and you probably, what I'm gonna do is kind of hold off on things for this until I get a good head start and good 
way ahead on this one. But what I will say is, honestly, the only thing I really want to do is lowering springs and wheels just to get this kind of fitment a little bit better because that's horrible in the factory. But and I already know what wheels I want to get for this as well. So that's going to be that. Real simple, real easy, real quick. And these wheels, huh. so I got these wheels from Facebook Marketplace. There's some style fives. I uh, got them for a great price, but they're actually going to be going on the E39 because I'm going to be selling uh, BBSs off of the E39 and probably selling the E39 as well. So these are just going to be like the, I got to get a small bend fixed on this wheel and then they're going to go on that. And crazy, I'm so far. So that's pretty much it. As far as build updates and where I stand with this car, I will give my driving impression for this as well again because this is constantly evolving so i want to bring you guys along for the, the journey for that so we'll probably take this out for a drive here soon and uh, we'll talk through that but that's the build update video guys hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna subscribe let me know what you think in the comments any suggestions i've been getting a lot of great dialogue in the comments which is great thank you guys i will i'll always like you know, shoot the shit and talk cars man and uh so i'm open to anything any suggestions you guys might have any critiques or just your experiences with any of these type of cars just, just kind of go through this and how it all pans out it's going to take some time because i'm not made of money like i said this was a stretch in the first place to even get so this is gonna be a slow incremental process that I'll be doing with this. But I try to do other things to keep the channel going and keep you guys entertained and all that shit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna subscribe. Your favorite unenthusiastic car enthusiast here with another video. Catch you guys on the next one. Keep being great. Peace.